Questions? Who remembers what we learned about last week? Starts with a G. Jealous D, no? Something you get for free. What is it? Uh, a gift. That's right. So a gift is something you get for free. And who remembers? Who pays for the gift? Does the person receiving the gift pay for the gift or the person giving the gift? Which one's there? The person giving the gift, right? It's free for the person receiving the gift, for the person giving the gift is free. So the gift of God is, who remembers what the gift of, from God is? You remember? Simon? Eternal life. Eternal life. And last question on last week, how did God pay for the gift of eternal life? Who remembers? Who remembers? Timothy? He died on the cross for us, was buried and rose again. Very good. Okay, today we are learning about <clears throat> the subtlety of Satan. The subtlety of Satan. Who knows what subtlety means? Does anyone know? Subtlety. Think about a snake. Snake, can you hear snakes when they're around? No, they're very quiet. Eh? They slip, they slither, you try and hold them, they slip out of your hands. Very subtle. They're sneaky. That's what subtle means. When you're sneaky. What happens when you're sneaky? Sneaking around, you don't want people to notice. All right, Satan is like this too. So we're in the book of Corinthians today. I want to share one verse with you. 2 Corinthians 11.3. Look at this. It says, But I fear, so this is what Paul is a bit worried about with people, lest by any means... As the serpent beguiled. Do you know what the word beguiled means? Who knows? Anyone know? What do you think it means? Deceived. 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 Very good. When they trick you. Have you ever been tricked before? Have you ever been tricked before, Zephy? Sometimes? <laughs> Trying to wake you up. <laughs> beguiled Eve. Very subtlety. It's when you get tricked. He says here, yeah, see, he's through sneakiness. So your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ Jesus. So what is Paul saying here? He's saying, I'm worried that the same way that Satan tricked Eve. What did Eve do? Do you remember what Eve did wrong? What did she do wrong? Do you remember? She ate the apple. She ate the fruit, yes. Yeah, a lot of people think it's an apple, but we don't know what sort of fruit it is. But A lot of people think it's an apple, but it can't be an apple because we eat, we eat apples all the time. It's probably a different sort of fruit. But what he's saying here is, the same way Satan tricked Eve, he's going to try and trick us. So don't you think it's smart? Why don't we go back? We're going to see, how did Satan trick Eve? And then we, make, we can make sure we don't get tricked the same way. Yeah? All right. So, Adam and Eve, happy in the garden, in Genesis. <laughs> Before... Sin came into the world, right? But what did God say to them? He said, because who knows? Oh, somebody knows? Oh, what did, you, what did, what did God say? not eat of the fruit in the tree of the midst of the garden. Yes, that's right. So God said, he's made all these trees in the garden, and he said, you know what? You can eat all of them, anyone you want. All the trees in the garden. But he said, there's one in the midst of the garden, a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. That one you can't eat from. Look, Genesis 2.17, But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Right? Now, he's not talking here. We know that God wasn't talking about a physical death because when Adam and Eve ate of the fruit, they were still living physically. But what happened? Their spirit died. They died that day. But... This is where Satan tried to trick them. So let's see what Satan did. So, Satan comes along in the form of a serpent. And back then, the serpent had legs. Right? Now the serpent doesn't have legs. It's a symbol of what punishment God inflicted on Satan. But Satan comes to Eve. He he's under the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And he's talking to Eve. And what does he say? Genesis 3.1. Now the serpent was more subtle. Who remembers what subtle means? What does it mean? Tricky, that's right. What's another thing that it means? Sneaky. It's a bit sneaky, isn't it? Subtle. 
the serpent, so we know this is talking about Satan, was more subtle, more sneaky than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, look at this. He says, yea, hath God said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Question mark. So what's the first thing Satan does to trick Eve? He questions God's word. Because God said, hey, in the day that thou eat thereof, thou shalt surely die, right? But what is he doing here? He says, hath God said? Oh, he's starting to question. It's a, starting to question what God said. That's number one. So what's the first thing he did? He's questioning God's word. So what does Eve say back to him? Now Eve responds to the serpent in verse 3. But of the fruit of the tree, this is what she's, what she's saying, which is in the midst of the garden. So she's talking about this tree. God hath said, ye shall not eat of it. But look at this. Neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. Now is that what God said? That's not what God said. What did God say? Let's go back. He said, in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Nothing about touching them. Ah, oh, so what was Eve's problem? So Satan questioned God's word. What did Eve do? She didn't know God's word right. So she thought that she couldn't touch it. So what happens when she touched it and she didn't die? Oh, well she thinks maybe Satan is right. All right, so first Satan, what did he do? What did Satan do? Question God's, Question God's word. So Eve, second one, Eve didn't know God's word well enough, so she got tricked, didn't she? And, cool, come in and sit down, Jordan. Now we go back to the serpent. Now how does the serpent respond? Look at what he says in verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not, ye shall not surely die. Now what did God say? In the day that thou eat thereof, thou shalt surely die. So number three, what did Satan do? Now he's just blatantly denying God's word. Right? Ryan, come in and take a seat there. Now he's just blatantly denying God's word. Okay? And then unfortunately, Eve gets deceived, eats of the fruit, gives to her husband to eat. He eats as well. He didn't get deceived. He disobeyed God. And because of that, sin came upon the world. Right? So this is where we have to be careful because Satan today may deceive you. He's sneaky as well. You don't want to be deceived like Eve did. So how did he do it? What was the first thing he did? He questioned God's word. Now what did Eve, what was Eve's problem? You know the answer? What did Eve do wrong? Uh, she, she got deceived and she ate the apple. Yeah, but why did she get deceived? Zephy. Exactly, right? She did not know God's word. Right, so she got tricked. And then what was the third thing Satan did? She ate the apple, or she ate, she ate the fruit. Now I'm saying apple. She ate the fruit. But what did Satan do after she didn't know God's word? Who remembers number three? Do you remember? He deceived her. He deceived her. How did he do it? Let's have a look again. He shall not surely die. He denied God's word. So number one, he questioned God's word. Number two, Eve didn't know God's word. And number three, then he denied God's word. All right, so we have to make sure we know God's word so that we don't get deceived. Okay, and that's the lesson today. Okay, I already asked you all those questions. Last question is, who remembers what subtle means? Subtle, able. You get tricked, that's right, when you're sneaky. I'll try again. What was the first thing that Satan did? Question God's word. What did Eve do wrong? She ate the fruit. What did she do wrong? Didn't know God's word. And number three, what did Satan do? Brian? Denied God's word. Very good, guys. Okay. Katarina's got some games for us today. So stand up. I'm going to go outside.